I think y'all do it one more time. Let's give God another hand, pray. Come on now. Come on now. Yeah, I must have to talk like I'm hell in the now. Come on now. Come on now. Come on. God been good to you. Sure enough, been good. Man, God is so great, so awesome, man. Thank God for allowing us to read those affirmations every Sunday. Powerful, powerful affirmations, man, of God. We had a great time in the Lord's Academy. Did you have a great time in the Lord's Academy? Very good, 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 great. We talked about the power of prayer and how, how, how essential prayer is to your life. Now, that was just that was just the breakfast. You know, breakfast is good, but when with dinner is better. You know what I mean? You know, you have some waffles, you might have some strawberries and orange juice, but when you have some poached chops and rice and ra- uh, I mean, rice and gravy, that's pretty good, ain't it? That's the meat. That that dinner, that's what's gonna fill you up. That's what's gonna keep you sane. The Bible says you know, we have to have a preacher. And so we thank God for the preacher of our house, don't we? Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank God for a good pastor. I don't want to uh, take any of his time because I know he got a great word for us. Let's say amen for our pastor, yeah. Pastor Vandal Bland Sr. VJ, I figured that out too, that when I'm not around, y'all talking about me. <laughs> That's all right. The old people said, the more you talk about me. Talk about me much as you please. More you talk, I'm going to bend my knees. <laughs> hey, Sister Brenda. Uh, I got, uh, Lord gave me a word. And it always baffles me. I'm like, Lord, because I don't be having my mind on this, y'all. And I be, <laughs> my mind be all like, Lord, now nice it's time to preach. What I'm going to talk about? And he always remind me he's, uh, what he told me years ago. And that is, how many times I got to tell you, I don't need your help. Right. I'm so glad. Amen. I'm so glad. I'm glad for Manasseh. I am glad for Manasseh. This was not my will. Last thing on the list, I wanted to do was pastor a church. Uh, I wanted to do a whole lot of other stuff that was really, really illicit and illegal. Uh, This wasn't one of the things right there, but God know what I need. God know what I need. And God has given a word for this morning. If you turn to 1 Corinthians, the first chapter, 1 Corinthians 1, I'm going to solicit your prayers for Lady Deborah. Uh, we were at an event last night, and she stayed over. I came back, and uh, because every now and then she had to remind me, Mother Nun, God called you the pastor. He didn't call me. <laughs> I, I get that. I thank you for your help, though, because she's been a great help to me. Great help to me. Um, uh, in her journey back, I, I, I solicit your prayers. Amen. So many things can happen. Whenever I get somewhere, Brother Span, I, I thank the Lord. And on the way, Amen. on the way, because you know where you want to go, but something can happen just like that. Something can happen just like that, and they just throw everything into it. It's happened many times. And I thank the Lord for his protection. First Corinthians, the first chapter, uh, and um, the 26th verse. Very familiar uh, scripture for us. We stay in Paul's epistle, not because we think that that's the only word of God, because all the word of God is right from Genesis to Revelation. It's just that we know that the apostle Paul was our teacher. He was our apostle. I know it because that's what the Bible says. Paul says in Romans 11, he says, uh, I am an apostle to, to the, I magnify my office that I am the apostle to the Gentiles. Apostle simply means messenger. God has given me a message. These folks right here now calling themselves apostles and everything and don't even have a message. Uh, Messenger, uh, God has ordained. God, he chooses who he wants to do what he wants to do. I've been getting along with God a whole lot better since I found out he was God. And all that it entails, yes. that, that, that by him being God, God don't need my money. Right. God don't need my service. Right. God don't need nothing from me. As a matter of fact, God has clarified to me since I've been over here that everything that you're offering is nasty. Yes. Uh, if I needed something, I wouldn't ask you. But God has <clears throat> no need of anything. He's God. He's El Shaddai. He, he, he's uh, Elohim. He, he's El uh, Olam. From beginning to the end. You can go all the way back. Or you can search it as far as you want to. And you won't find where he started. 
and you ain't going to find where he end. Right. Oh, you ought to know that from your life. Yeah. I got about three folks here that you, you just knew it was over. You just knew that you wasn't going to go no further. And look what God did. God opened up a door out of nowhere. God prepared a table for you in the presence of your enemy. They said you wasn't going to be nothing. Your children wasn't going to be nothing. You wasn't going nothing that you were doing was going to come to nothing. The devil ain't just started that, Robert. Oh, when Nehemiah was called, uh, when, when, I think it was Nehemiah, was it the build a wall? Yeah, when he was called to build a wall, and, and, and haters, haters, they, they ain't new, cricket. The haters said, oh, man, if a fox ran across that, it won't come to nothing. Oh, I'll run up out of here. I know they told me. I don't know what they told you, but I know they told me. They said, you ain't going to never be nothing, and ain't nothing going to come. Look what God has done. Look what God have done. And the good thing about it, Tyrone, with all that God have done for me and you, I didn't sit in there in the bed this morning. I could have. I got a beautiful bed. Got a beautiful home. That I got. I got food all in there. But I chose not to stay there this morning. But I want to. The, the old people told me like this right here. They said, son, hold on what you got. And ask the Lord for more. Don't become weary in way of doing don't, don't do that. They, they got folks that they, they, they hate to pay on Friday. They, come, they, mm. they hate to pay them, Cheryl, because they ain't going to come back to work. Long as they broke, they sitting right there. They, long as they broke, but just give them two nickels and you can't tell them nothing. The old folks said, son, hold on what you got. That's the Lord for more. Then some the one old lady in the end over there inside, wasn't nobody talking to her, but she said, baby, serving the Lord gets sweeter day by day. You wonder how come. They said, mama, what, what did you go to church for and everything? Baby, he's sweet. I know. He's sweet, I know. He said, it's sweeter than honey in the honeycomb. Somebody else said, oh, taste and see that the Lord, he is good. 1 Corinthians, the first chapter, 26 verse, he said, for you see your calling. Brother, you finna get the truth now. You want to come to church, but you do everything but open the Bible up. You want to talk about how we need this and how we need this and what I want you to do this. So, Mr. Karuv, I had a thought the other day, and that is I've been pastoring 18 years, going on 19. For as I know, I ain't never asked nobody in here for nothing. As far as I know. And not only that, ain't never asked nobody here to do nothing. As far as I know. But we never have wanted for nothing. We never have wanted. The only thing God wants is let me be God. If you get out the way, if you, re if you realize who you are, and realize who I am. All right. But see, you can't know who God is without God's spirit. My Lord. Yeah, you, you, you can't stop. I don't care how many letters you got behind your name. Right. You're you, you, you big on that now. I'm a THD. <laughs> you introduce yourself to me like I'm impressed. I'm doctors. What? <laughs> Negro, we eating. <laughs> <sighs> He says, for you see your calling. Brethren, how that not many wise after the flesh. In other words, what I have done. You all lifted up in pride about who you are. And my, my daddy helped build that church. And you do know that, that we the one that started this over here. And we gave the land for the church to be built. And, and, and we, he said, Ooh, watch God. Watch God. Watch God. God, I don't took my eyes off of you. See, David had to realize when his own daddy didn't see nothing in him. You see, some of the pain, some of the arrows, so some of the hurt hmm, that you have taken were to teach you something. You see, before you know where to go, you got to know where not. Oh, Jesus, you got to know where not to go. You instead of going to the well, but you ain't no water there, baby. David said, I'm going to lift up my eyes to the hills. 
which cometh my help. Because what I found out, common is, is that most of them that can won't help you. They won't help you. And then I don't ask nobody too much for no help here because your help too expensive. Oh, uh, when you get on down the road, you got to remind me. Well, you know, I did, I did this. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want no strings on me. I know how to do it now. That's the reason I told y'all when I first started, I said, look, I said, look, don't be so needy. Because evil people identify your needs and manipulate you with that. I'm going to wait on the Lord. I'm going to do with what I got. I'm going to hold to what I got. And that's the Lord for more. Because, you see, the Bible said that the blessings of the Lord. Hmm, I run up out of here. Bring if no sorrow. Oh, no, 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 no. If God give it to you. He ain't going to run around telling everything. You give me a pair of shoes and everything. I show up shop and everything. And everything. You got to tell everybody at the place that I gave him them shoes right there. No, 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 no. Make me want to take them off and throw them. Kick them. Take these right here. I'd, I'd rather be barefooted. Thank you, Jesus. Here Paul says, for you see your calling. You studying everybody else, but you need to find out who you are. It ain't, ain't none of them business. You know what? You can't, I don't make no difference how they laundry look on those, those things. If they, that, that ain't going to get yours clean. He said, you see your calling, how not many hmm, wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called, but God have chose. Oh, my God. Go, who get to choose? Ooh, that, that right there relieved me of a whole lot of stuff. That's the reason I ain't Baptist, Methodist, Church of God in Christ, or nothing like that. You ain't got to, you, know, you ain't got to give me no church. You ain't got to set me up. I don't need your title, or nothing like that. Because you see, God chose me. Uh, I see, it's a God have chosen. Oh, God, listen. Let, let us dissect this and let us look at how that you. Okay, God said, go ahead and give y'all the subject right now because I'm about through. Uh, look. Look at your neighbor. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him right, right in the eye. And just tell him. Say it's okay. That's why he chose me. It's it's okay. That that's why he chose me. I I have come to find out that uh, one of the greatest fears in life that I have is being embarrassed. I I found that that that, that I will go a long way. To keep you from finding out something that I'm shame about. Uh, I will. You have people that have cancer, private and stuff like that. And I understand it. Don't get me wrong or nothing like that. But they won't. They don't tell nobody. They did and everything. He said, "Well, he, they didn't. They, they didn't tell." His em, embarrassment. I don't want you to know something. You have people. Uh, maybe in our dental work and stuff like that, it looked real pretty, you know, like right now. But then, you know, one of them might fall out. And one of them fall, you're eating it at one time, any time. I've had it happen. And fall, man, you don't look like you did look with a big gap in your mouth and everything. Well, it's time to go to Bible study. No, I can't go. I can't go to Bible study tonight. And you're walking around. And you, we're talking to people. You're doing like this right here. We know why you got your hand right there. But I'm scared. I'm scared of how you see me. Uh, now, 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 why, why is that so important? The reason it's so important is, is that the only thing that can keep God from finding you, because you don't find God, God find you. Uh, he said that he left the 99 to go get the one. Well, the 99, they were safe and they were secure and they had their jobs and they had their money in the bank. And the 99, everything was fine at theirs. But the one, the one, the one had got stuck. The, the one was out there by himself. The one didn't have nobody to depend on. The one was naked out there and the one cried out. Ah! And so you see, I'm going to tell you something. The Bible, David said, this poor man Okay, God, okay. God told me to tell you this today and everything. He, he can't help you if you don't cry out. Huh? I, I got to hear you cry. I got to. He told Israel, he said, call for the morning women. 
It's something about God that God will hear the faintest cry. It's something about God when that God is when you lack a days ago, when you're at ease inside, when you allow anything to do, when you don't care. But I'm gonna tell you something. It's something about it when you get in a tight. It's something about it when you have to call out and say, God, I know it's something about it when you like the woman that had the issue of blood. I don't care what you church folk think about me. I don't care what I smell like. I don't care what I look like. All I know is I need to make my way to God. I need to go get some help. He, he told Israel, he says, uh, you shall find me when you seek me with your whole, whole heart. I wish Vivian, I had about three folks that were honest. They said, Pastor, I couldn't get no help as long as I was playing with God. I've always gone to church. I was in BTU, I YPWW, I I was in the Sunday school. But but, but you know what? I was there for the wrong reason. I was up in there laughing and giggling. Oh, but I want you to know something. That life whoopings begin to hit me. And I realized that if God don't help me, I ain't going to be able to stand this. I realized, I cried out and I said, God, help me. Because I can't help myself. He says, look at your calling. You always got to remember how you got where you are. It's a sad thing, Brother Lacey, when a person does not honor the bridge that brought them over. You see? Because whoever, whoever built you a bridge, it wasn't for them. But, but they built it where you wouldn't have as hard a time. And when you dishonor, that's what it hurt, mother, when you see a person that don't respect their mama. I, 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 if you don't respect your mama, I, I, I'm scared of you, my, you, you. The person who brought you here, you talk to her in any kind of way. I, I, he said, you see, you're calling. And the problem I've seen with God is, is that when God's spirit, Vanda Jr., began to lead a person, he make the foolish wise. He make them look so good that some of them begin to think that it's them. And that's the reason Paul says, you foolish. One of my favorite songs, Carl Ray, is Jesus. I'll never forget. What you've done for me. David said, let my tongue Cleave to the roof of me. Let my hand lose his. You know David could play the harp. But David said, if I ever forget from where you brought me from, let my hand lose its ability. Let my tongue, let me not be able. God took me out the crack house. Took me through college and then got, got in law school with a 1.99 average. I'm like, Mother Nun, you don't know God like I know. I'm not, you know what, you don't bother me. You don't bother me. I rode in this morning in the S550. Paid for, I paid for it cash. You don't know God like I do. Look, let me tell you something. Somebody ain't had a good pair of tennis shoes. Oh, remember? Look at the name and tell him, say, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> tell somebody else, that's why he chose me. Chose oh, we, 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 we so scared. Yeah, people like to whisper on you. Yeah, well, honey, but you know when she was over there, she did this. It's okay. I'll run up out of here. That's why he chose me. <laughs> honey, <laughs> he brought this man out of a terrible ditch. Huh? Uh, folks said, well, baby, that was a long time ago. It's been 34 years since you had cocaine. Why are you still talking about it? Because I'll never forget God. <laughs> you see, let me tell you something. You know God by what he's done for you. I never try to get in between you and God. 
Because, baby, some of y'all got experiences I don't have. I tell you all the time, I don't know nothing about your mom and daddy not wanting you. But I preach to people who mother and dad, it's a lady told me, she said, she's a pastor. She said, my daddy stayed one block down the street and never gave me nothing. <laughs> but you know what? That's the reason that God put in the scripture where he said, if my mother and my father forsake me, then with the Lord. Come on, y'all. It's okay. That's why he chose me. I know God by what he's done for me. See, everybody don't know that he'll set a table in the wilderness. You, 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 ain't never, you ain't never went hungry. You, you don't know, but I got about three folks that know that, 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 that when the grocery store closed, God got an after hours. That'll call somebody, Brother Roy Spann, that don't even like you to, pay, to get some groceries up and bring them to your door. Until the Lord told me to bring you this right here. He said, how not many wise not have the Lord and, but God have chosen the foolish things of the world in order to confound the wise. It's okay. That's why he chose me. You see, JB, God will bless you. But he first got to embarrass you. You see, because when God bless you, I ain't talking about when you bless you. I ain't talking about when man bless you. You see, when God bless you is when man have taken his hand back. And man said, you ain't worth nothing. You don't deserve nothing. That, that, that's when God bless you. And when God bless you, Brother Eric, that's when you don't care who hear you praise God. I got about seven folks know what I'm talking about. I don't be studying Mother Nun. When she talking about, I'm going to put this mic down. I'm going to put it. Look here. He said, if you held your peace. The rocks would cry. The old people would say, ain't no rocks got to cry out for me. I know what God did for me. In the song, Tara, the lady said, hold on. He said, he said hold my meal. Because you, you don't know what God did. He said, I've had these many children. I never had to go down to the jail. Let me tell you something. If first you know all your children still breathing my Lord, my Lord. and God have blessed them to wake up this morning yes. it ought not be nobody in here that can make you shame to praise God that, that you won't tell God thank you I come this morning Madeline to give the Lord my best praise as a matter of fact I owe him a praise as a matter of fact I got an overdue praise The devil trying to make you shame and tell me what they going to say and whatever. Baby, I tell you what, then y'all just let me go outside and praise him because he's been too good. It's okay. It's okay. It's why he chose me. I know I've been foolish. I know I've been unwise. I know I didn't have what you had. But that's why he chose me. So that when I got up, I wouldn't get nobody to pray but him. They get up and they stay seven minutes giving honor to the bishop and the assistant to the bishop and the secretary to the bishop and the jurisdictional mother and her assistant and to the dog that they left at home oh no 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 oh, no 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 it's okay that's why he chose me I don't feel, JB, I used to feel bad because I didn't have, let me tell y'all something. If you go back and if you look at the 1970 Central High School uh, yearbook, uh, if you can't find I got one at home. I keep, I keeps it around. Uh, uh, if you go back, 
uh, I was in the band, and I was the best saxophone player, so I was the first, first play, first chair. So I sat on the end, Lisa, and everything. But you're supposed to wear black shoes. I didn't have no white shoes. God had given me the talent and the ability to sit there, but I didn't have the shoes to go with it. So I had some black converse. I had some black converse. And I wore a black converse. And they laughed and they thought it was funny. And that's the reason I don't have to run up in your face now. That's the reason I know what you think about me. You can't fool me, attorney bland. And, and I know what you think about me. Right. I, I, I don't have amnesia. Right. It's okay. That's why he chose me. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I go to school, and the guys that had brought my daddy home, my daddy was drunk and had urinated all over himself down there at Sammy Lofton Cafe down there, and they brought him home. My guys, I got to go see at school the next day, and they laugh, and they, it's okay. It's why God chose me. <sighs> I'm like the man that lay there for 38 years and began to cry out. You know, I felt sorry for myself a long time. I said, why was I born into this kind of thing? Why do I have to go do it? Why wouldn't I? And then when Jesus passed by one day, they come out, that's all right. He said, the right man going to pay off after a while. I didn't know that he was getting me ready. I didn't know that I had to be rejected and had to be a man of sorrow. I didn't know that the pain that I was going through had a purpose. I didn't know that he had to, it's okay. It's why, it's why he chose me. It's why he chose me. I don't believe nobody in here can say truthfully that I treat every one of you any different. The one that get the most money and the one that don't get no money at all. I don't think you could say that. But the man had laid there for a long time. He said, how long have you been in this state? Now, God knows everything. But he wants you to get your mind right. So I've been here 38 years. And why you don't get up? Well, every time that the water is stirred, I ain't got nobody. Got nobody to help me. I served the church for 25 years. Jesus. They never saw nothing in me. Never did nothing. And I don't care. They can take it the way they want to take it. Because I don't want to, I, I want the truth, and the truth will make me free. I ain't mad at nobody. It's okay. That's why he chose me. They think I'm mad and everything. He don't like the church of God and grace. He talks about it. No, no, baby, I promise you, I love the saints. That had never been the problem. I loved you. You didn't love me. The problem ain't that I don't love you. The problem is you don't love me. And I'm not going to let you abuse me any longer. I'm precious in this sight. I thought that if I ran up behind you long enough, You'll like me, and you'll see something in me. But the Bible says that Joseph was chosen. Now, I don't see nothing special about Joseph. His father decided out of all the children, I'm going to give him that coat. Uh, and so, Sheriff, uh, gifts come with a burden. Oh, His problem started. With the coat. I don't read anywhere where nobody was mad at him until his father gave him the coat. My, my God said, make it plain. The Bible says that when Jesus was baptized of John and the Holy Spirit came of the form of a dove, then it does not say the devil. It said the Spirit drove him into the what, what God God said there is a period of preparation that you have to go through 
Look at your neighbor and tell them, don't dodge your preparation. Don't tell them. Look at somebody else and tell them, it's just temporary. It's just temporary. Uh, I would put my marriage up against anybody's marriage. My wife and I enjoy one another. We got an understanding. We're not faking. We know that we human. We, we, we know each other. But there was a period that we went through, Brother Abagana, that was pure de hell every day. But it's okay. That's why he chose me. You see, the Bible says that we have not and high priest, uh, which cannot be, I'm preaching right now, which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmity. Before you can help somebody, you got to go through somebody. Deliver me from these folk that ain't never been through nothing, don't understand nothing, and you want to preach to me? You ain't never thought about killing nobody? <laughs> and you want to preach to me? That's the reason I have a problem with these little boy preachers y'all want to put up. <laughs> Baby, you ain't lived long enough to preach to me. I need somebody to preach to me that been to hell and back. Uh, and ain't even got smoke in their clothes. It's okay. That's why he chose me. That was a purpose. I'm, I'm sure enough, I ain't got but three minutes, no way. He says to him, uh, he says, uh, uh, but God have chosen uh, the weak things. Uh, Went to, uh, went to, went to a uh, celebration last week, 50 years of the chapter of Mega Sci-Fi. I, 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 I didn't pledge at that chapter because uh, I got in a fight, I got beat up uh, by a policeman, face that big. He put me out and I went to another place. And uh, I have somebody else who went there and they started but they quit and they went somewhere else and you see it's okay that's why he chose me and uh, what the devil wants you to do is is to let your pride keep you from showing up and, and, and that's the reason you got to stop identifying with you. Uh, Paul says, it's no more me. I, I, I have put my faith in Christ. And I have mounted the cross with him. I'm crucified with him. I'm buried with him. But that ain't where the story ends. When he got up, I got up. And, uh, and what, what, what that mean? What that mean is uh, that, that through Christ, I can do all things. I, I, I know I was foolish. I, I, I know I was weak. I, I, I know I made bad decisions. But, 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 but Paul says in that chapter there, I got to go ahead and cut across the fields. He said, he is my wisdom. I don't lean to my own understanding no more. But in all my ways, I acknowledge him. And so when it comes to my mind to hurt you, when it comes to my mind to give you what you got, what I think you got coming, uh, I hear the Spirit say, see what the Lord say about it. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, and so then he wonder, I, I, all the time, I do things for people I know they would never do for me. Uh, thank you, Jesus. He, 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 let, let, let me finish. He, he says, and base things of the world. I'm in verse 28. Things which are despised. I went back to the celebration. And in the celebration, I got it on, I got it on video. That's when I tape stuff and I put pictures of stuff and everything. Because, see, the devil tried to take your memory. 
The devil tried. He said, you ever had this fog? You, you don't remember it. You don't remember it. Like, boo, boo, boo. oh, yeah, devil, I got proof right here. And I didn't know in the moment and everything, they called me up. And they said, brother, I said, you're a true brother. You're a true friend. And said, we're going to make you an honorary member. That what the devil stole. What the devil stole. Come on, y'all. Is, is he a God of restoration? Will he restore the years that the cake of worm have taken away? He is a restorer. And I didn't see it at the time, Sheriff, but when I looked at the video, I told y'all Lady Deborah go sneak in on me. Uh, I didn't see it at the time, but when, when I looked back at the video, Vivian, I saw where all the 15 members of the, uh, the where 13 were there, the members of the original, all of them standing to their feet and they was clapping. And they was, let me tell you something. It's okay. That's why he chose me. He don't choose you because you're up on top of the mountain. But somebody said, Brother Tyrone, down in the valley. I'm looking at, and I'm closing now, I'm looking at June the 9th. They got to take my baby's heart out of his body again. I'd been through that one time. Tyrone just dropped his head in when I said it. I remember back the first time I went over there with Lady Deborah and we was coming back and everything. Tyrone met me. I don't know, some kind of book he had. And he opened up the book with two $100 bills in there. He said, here, just take this right. Let me tell you something. The devil tried to make you feel like don't nobody care. All right. All right. God got some people that's crazy about you. You got to quit fooling with them that don't care about you. It's okay. It's why he called me. I can't preach no more. Clap your hands for the Lord.